And I hope that that same value system that have driven Biafran civilization for 5,000 years will come back to sustain us for another 5,000 years. This evening here in Houston, Texas, we have started something that will culminate in the coming of Biafra. Yes. Here. Yes. All of you that did those wonderful work the years back, I call upon you now, this very day, to redouble your effort and do the same thing you did before, but only now, slightly differently. Where before you had Nigeria, remove it and put Biafra. Anybody from Enugu State here? From Enugu State? Yes. Okay. Unokon asylum, member, because um, your land has been taken over. I'm sure you know that. Do you know that? Do you know? Yes. Hey, but it was taken in 1982. Long time ago. And we think it's a child's play. I know. As I said before, the beloved state of Israel went through the same mess as we're going through today. They thought it was a joke. After 2,000 years, they came back. Their land was no longer called Israel, it was called Palestine and they had to fight their way into it. The Quran says that Jerusalem belongs to Israel. The Bible says Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. But today, Israel does not even have full ownership of Jerusalem. Because of one mistake. One mistake. You know that nature abhors vacuum. Do you believe that? Not just theory. It happens. You see how clean this place is? This is how clean it is. If you lock this place up and come back here in 20 years, all this, it will, it will decay. On its own. It will decay on its own. Because we left home That is why the Fulanis have come. If you like, you can use that gift that God gave to you in America to rescue us. If you like, you can leave it. But I assure you, if you have heard this gospel today, you return to your homes and do nothing. You will never make heaven. Anybody that hates Biafra can never make heaven. The only people who are against Biafra are either saboteurs, their father, Mogwanina Hawo Sabotua, during the war, or Nande Hawo Saturime Hambana War. Anybody that hates Biafra is not pure Biafran blood. Go and check it anyway. That is why we are relying on you and counting on you. That is why we know that you go kick out there, Mapurumi Hanina, the giver of life. Onya na huni hena hona zuzo. In heaven, the angels, they speak Hebrew language. I'm telling you what I know.
We ask on this very day that the mercy of Almighty Creator may descend upon this very audience. Give us your grace. Give us your understanding. And make us to go back to Biafra land where we come from. And not allow ourselves to be a waste in a foreign land. Because you cannot sing the Lord's song in a foreign soil. It's not possible. You cannot. No matter how many Igbo villages you build in Virginia, a place that I will personally knock down myself. People build Chinatown to make money, to sell noodles and make money. If they had built it to make money, I can understand. What you are saying is that we no longer exist. For people to know who we are, we need to go to a museum and be looking through the window. God forbid. So you don't know that's what it means? Anuna Mage. We are talking about Biafra. To rebuild Biafra. Because as long as we stand, as long as IPOB exists, our fight is twofold. Two. Biafra will come and the name Nigeria will cease to exist forever and ever. Yes. We have seen the Messiah. 
We are Biafra fighting for our nation by the name of Jesus. We shall come. We are Biafra, Biafra. By the name of Jesus, we shall come. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going into the next stanza. We are going into the next agenda. Question and answers. Please, if you have a question, you better be on this line. question. We don't want to know if you are from Virginia or you are from Atlanta. Uh -uh. Tell us where you come from, from Biafra. Okay. Our coordinator, are we ready? Yes, yes, please. please. Sir, are we ready? All right, sir. My brother, step forward. I be a bee. I be a bee. One family. I'm a big man. I'm a big man. I'm a big South local government. My question is A um, few days ago, we had uh, some group of people that uh, said that their name is. Uh, lower Niger Congress. I listened to them, I think their secretary, Tony Nadi, 
Um, he was speaking like uh, we are fighting for the same purpose. Um, I discovered he's a very intelligent guy. So my question is, do they have any bearing with IPOB pursuing this same agenda of freedom? Thank you very much. Um, I didn't quite understand your question in the sense that when he said those things, I'm sure you asked him a question. Is that, did you ask him a question? Yes. Because I would have thought that the best thing, before listening to them, did you know about the existence of IPOB? Yes. Why are you asking me? Why did you ask them when you met them? So I didn't meet them, I listened to him over the people. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. The thing is this. We accommodate everybody who is fighting for the restoration of Biafra. It doesn't matter who you are. As long as you're fighting for Biafra, we accommodate you. That's no problem. So I welcome whatever thing that it is that everybody is doing to restore Biafra. But one thing is certain. The way we have chosen to fight for it is a way that excludes Nigeria from it. Understand this. Therefore, I have difficulties dealing with people that will anchor our struggle within the contraption called Nigeria. That's my only concern. But in terms of Working together, praying for everybody, I do that. Everybody fighting for Biafra, I pray for you. But if you're fighting for Nigeria through Biafra, I can say Jimmy Kopo by Woko. So that's how we are. I don't discuss individuals or groups. I deal with ideas. But I welcome what each and every one of you is doing to make sure that Biafra is restored. If we have any convergence anywhere, then we meet and converge. Do you understand me? But if you sell our secret to the enemy, then the Yemen does not make worry. Thank you. Thank you. Step forward. Next. Question. Our sister. Question, question, no story. <laughs> no. Oliver, good evening, um, leader of Biafra. Um, I, I, there's no way we can hear you and not retort. For some of us that are hearing you for the very first time, your messages have been distorted, even in Nigeria, but I'm hearing you for the very first time, you have a message. And I know that in every generation to fight a good cause, God usually raises somebody. And the message of Biafra is real. That's why it still resonates till today. And so um, what baffles me is what happens in Aba in Nigeria. Because I know the youths that you don't know how they troop out when they say um, they all troop out and mass. They want to kill people, nobody will come out. And we, um, I'm saying I don't know your message for them, so that they will look in words to know that the miracle is always in the house. Now that I'm here, I've got one thing. This Biafra is a metaphor. We have to conceive it like a child in the womb, and then we nurse it, and then it will bath into a geographical space. Because, sorry, the question, sorry, the question is, you have a powerful message. What message do you have for the youths about themselves? Some of them in Abad, they, ha they make beddings with rickety machines that can compute, compete with any bedding shop in this United States.
my message for them is exactly the same consistent message I gave to them in Aba in 2015. The zoo will kill us. We will kill them. But in the end, Biafra will come. We do what we do because of those that have fallen. We recognize the talent and the potential that our young ones possess. As you well know, I was in Israel trying to discuss with some Israeli businessmen to bring their businesses to our land to engage our people in the interim before the coming of Biafra. And another Igbo man, as usual, okay, Zibazo, went to Israeli embassy to go and destroy that very deal. Not that he succeeded, I'm returning to Israel from the USA to make sure that very deal comes to completion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, we have very short time for this agenda. For those of us who are talking from behind, let us respect ourselves, please. It must be question and only question, no story. Next person, please. Um, thank you, the Supreme Leader of IPOB. My name is Clayton Udo from Aquai Home State. Um, they call me Biafra 2.0. Um, I'm going to crave your discretion to do something really quick. If you're from a private state, can you just lift up your hand here? One. Two. Okay, that's it. Three. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right, um, the Supreme Leader. I'm going to be the future ambassador of the African United States. That's the first thing I want you to know. But however, however, I have some questions for you, and I'm going to be very quick so as not to waste time. My name is Clayton Udo. That's my name. Those who know me know me on the media as far as the Africa is concerned. My first question is, there's two schools of thought right now. If the Aquaibon people don't just join on their own cognizance without advertisement, they can go and sit down. It's, it's being spread heavily by your followers. And there's a school, second school of thought of people like me who say there should be enough reach, outreach towards them because a Aquaibom is built in such a way that there are certain powerful men that if they follow, then the rest all follow. So that's the first question I'll give to you. What do you say about that? Second question, you were born in the United States, your parents are Nigerians, you're here, hands up. Only one, me, number two. The second question is, what is the outreach of these people? Because a lot of the people here in the United States protect their children from the issue of Biafra. Their children should just go to school, but shouldn't talk about Biafra. What is your question about? They protect it, they isolate their children from Biafra. What is your questions about? What is your answers about that? Then my last question. Last question, please. Last question. Last question. Is there a possibility that we could see you walk into the White House, talk to Putin, and all the powerful people concerned with the Security Council. Thank you. IPOB! IPOB! Um, at least nobody will accuse us again of running a Biafra that is only about Igbo people. Aquaibom is Biafra. I don't like the name Aquaibom. Let me use the word, name Ibibi to start with. Does anybody here know the meaning of the word Ibibi? Ibibi means Ibonta. That's not the word Ibibi. You see, 
the British brought divide and rule. And they perfected it. The reason why our brother came and some of you here, as we're building our sister, has been doing very well in terms of um, media outreach, is because of Radio Biafra. That was the first time in our history, as you're saying, about 50 years, that a concerted effort was made to correct some of the historical distortions that have clouded the reasoning and judgment of our people, especially those from the riverland areas. The first people to protest when I was arrested were Akwaibong women. First. And as I speak to you now, there are 22 of them still in jail with a child that is only one and a half year old. From Akwaibo, who was the last head of state of Biafra? Where's Efion from? I don't need to beg somebody from Akwaibo to recognize Biafra. They should be asking me, as he has done, to say this is our family and we belong. People talk about Akwai Bum and say South South because they don't know history. Abriba people are from Akwai Bum. Do you know that? Concerning the very poor performance of our people, our children here. You know, as somebody who grew up in the village, they always tell us that um, when the mother goat is eating yam, the small one is, um, is watching. Do you follow? That means that the people here are ashamed of Biafra, ashamed of where they come from. That's right. That's right. And if you're ashamed of Biafra, in the end, Biafra will be ashamed of you. I don't beg anybody for anything. I say to Chiko Gikabia, Biafra is your project. Yes. Do with it as you please. But that thing that you want me to do, I will do it. I will never ever compromise. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. It is therefore up to you as God in heaven to see my heart and to understand what Biafra means, not just for the five P.O.B. And for the sake of your name, grant us Biafra. Amen. Concerning Trump or Putin. <laughs> if I go to Trump, don't I need somebody to introduce me? Do you actually know how American laws work? I need somebody to introduce me to a senator. Somebody to introduce me to Trump. I can't wake up and just run into White House by just writing a letter. You are going to introduce me to Trump. How are you going to do it? Third of July 2020. Come out on the streets of Washington, D.C. A million men on the street. And that is my invitation to White House. Not that we don't know what to do to enter uh, through the back door. But there is always one question they ask us. Are your people in this country? That's the first question. That's true. Are you not politicians? Are they here? Where are they? And they start thinking which territorial districts, which congressman or woman has advantage. You have not done enough. No. On your own to warrant me to go to White House. You have not done enough at all. When you do that very thing, bring your children to Washington on the 3rd of July. I'm giving you one year's notice. Tickets are very cheap. If you buy in advance, if it's buy one, get one free. I'm going to buy one, get one free. 
Once we storm Washington, and then you see what will happen. But in the meantime, don't forget that foreigners have landed. And we need to engage them. And very quickly. Thank you very much. Yes. This is our sister, a member of the Igbo Catholic community. Nem. Precisely. Question. All protocol observed. My supreme leader, yes, once again, I thank you. Uh, my name is Ngozi Chukwemeka Ibe. That's my husband. He eats on top of Biafra every time, just like you said, we will be quarreling. I said this Biafra will kill him. I got one brother. <laughs> one other man there, Trump. We we'll call him Trump. <laughs> my question is this. He had to do with it. It's like what uh, my brother there asked. He asked about White House. But I wanted to ask, I know Trump alone is not enough to do, solve this problem for us. Yes. I wanted to ask as a novice, I don't know, have you ever had anything to do with United Nations that can help us work through the journey? Thank you. Yes, it's a very simple answer to your question. We are engaging the UN, the EU, on a regular and consistent basis. But on their advice, we cannot make public what we are discussing because they are bound to respect the sovereignty of the zoo. Do you understand it? Yes. And I also wish to perhaps emphasize this, that only Trump can give us Biafra. Yes, Trump will not can. All they need to do is to recognize and then the rest will follow. It happened in Kosovo. It happened in Albania. Yes. It happened in Bosnia. Yes. These things happen every day. Yes. We only need two countries. Israel and the US. Only. Only, only, forget about UN the way you see it. UN is a rubber stamp organization. They killed us nearly 600 at home. Oh. Did you say anything? No, no. They killed us at National High School in Abba. Did you UN do anything? They protested in Sudan. I don't want to get into trouble because it's an Islamic country. 100 people dead, the news is everywhere. CNN covered it. They don't want Biafra to come because they are afraid of you. They know what you represent and what you can bring to the table. Thank you very much. Yes, this is our brother. From the part of that nation, they are the owners of what keeps that stupid bloody nation as a country. They are the owners of the crude oil. <laughs> Behind the father's home. They will you well. Now tell them where you come from. Okay, my name is Adozi. I come from where I'm worried boy. Uh, I will talk the way wife it talk. Uh, a very simple question I want to ask. Uh, you don't tell us how full I need my supreme right here. You don't tell us how full I need this thing for our house. You don't tell us how things they go bad and uh, how how we want to restore Biafra. Which thing I want to ask you say, which thing we will do to support IP and how people go out. It's a very good question. And I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. It's very simple. All of you here, 
As you go back to your various homes, you start IPOB family meeting. That's number one. It's very easy and don't be afraid. Because as they say, where will come from that multitude is your strength. It will be okay. Yes. You must understand that very well. You don't need to be afraid. And secondly, the full are there, we need to drive them away. You know, other people understand how freedom should be fought. Unfortunately, some of us still haven't caught on to what we should be doing. We need funding and we need participation. Funding and the participation. But I know that if I mention funding now, that will be the only thing some people will hear. But I'll make it very easy for you. Do you believe that we need funding to fight for any man? Yes! Huh? yes. And we are here for them. So that they get out of our land. Then can all of you commit yes. here present yes. to contributing one dollar a month to us? Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. And um, because of our nature, that one dollar you will contribute is tax deductible. You know what that means? Yes. So Uncle Sam will actually give you back the one dollar. <laughs> huh? But within yourself, you've done something great. Yes. Okay. Even though you don't want to do it. And I don't want somebody to go out and say, and start calculating how many people there are in Houston. <laughs> and say, if everybody were to pay one one dollar, that means I feel we will have money on. You know the way we are. Can you afford a dollar a month? Yes. Huh? Yes. Contribute a dollar a month. Organize IPUB in your locality and march in Washington next year and leave the rest to me. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Agameni Wedi Ewoku, a veteran of Biafra, Onyenze, Shalambano, Dedem, Buko, Ajojo, Mwata Anishe, Mwe Mwankenke. Um, my, I don't know how to My co host, you can I'm a brown woman, I'm a neighbor. In a joke, a work I watch naked, you know, money. One would joke and never know what you're moving. When you go, when you want to go to the promised land, I've been a mommy at the age of 18 years and nine months. I fought as a brilliant soldier. I fought in many sectors. I went in. We formed the Tafet Battalion there, the Jamati. Now we have a player commander, is Masimu. I went to a Zomri sector. And that's the fourth battalion. The fourth Masimu. So the only thing I want to let everybody know. Let me put this on. Omo Biafra, come and save your nation. Do children of Biafra, come and save your nation. Omo Biafra, come and save your nation. There's a danger, why you delay? There's a danger, why you delay? My darling, I'm moving tonight. My Nali, I'm moving far away, far away. If I happen to die, he never to fear. Never mind, we shall see night. I am but in not a rolling stone. I am but in not a rolling stone. If I happen to die, he never to fear. Never mind, we shall see night. 
I want everybody now. I don't question where question Naju. Come to Ibi, I want everyone. If we were everybody, how to unite? Let the the late uh, president of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, okay, African Union. What's the? He will not go and hold him accountable. How can he win? Join me together. Only you cannot fight a full army. Akwa Ibo cannot fight a full army. Uh, Imo State cannot fight a leader. It's a united front. And now that we have to declare operation, watch your back. Then uh, all the way we want to select intelligent, transparent people to mind the business of our home. Because Buhari can run down all meet the Kogan. Hold on. All meet the Kogan. Makahim may want me to live. I said, I'm going to come here to live. I said, I'm going to get young. Because, oh no, I'm not here. 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 And we have to move, and we have a hand. So you have to choose a one on your car. On your car, there was a museum, and like this room, one tall one and a chair. Uncle Wilkama, the party can play. I'm not a teacher now. Can you go? Can you tell me, I want to go to the end. So I will not support that. Thank you. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, he was one of our veterans. And as I said before, an old soldier never... Anybody who fought in the war, or that claims he or she fought in the war, and today when they tell them about Biafra, they say, no, 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 I don't want to hear it. That one is a fake soldier. Not the proper soldier. So we thank him very much. Thank you. Na, mbano, goya keke na. IPOP. Your family. Nchi ni njia ya kile chini kofi kambi. Aha, mbo ogu maachiku. Onyo ni chief bed na Rwanda State. Mwem ati tonago Ntempo mbo Onyisi ayin Okay I have two questions And Some people are kind of talking The first one is We have problem here in the United States When it comes to enlightenment About Biafra but I also know that maybe if you speak to us on any form of strategy we can use to reach some of us here, that would be very, very good for us. Like um, an example, in, in Dallas decided last year in one of the college, the best students in almost ten the faculty were all Igbos. And um, I, I was invited in, in the ceremony, the kind of the ritual they were doing. And they asked, where do they come from? Somebody said, the guy from across the river, he is a Biafra. From across the river? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that alone has given so many of us opportunity to do things around because of the little strength and wisdom God gave to us. So, while we go about doing the things we're doing, I'm also asking, what do we do? I know Israel and other countries that are doing very well. Some of them, within themselves, internally, there are things they do that help them get noticed wherever they are. And we are smart enough 
to be noticed. Please, what do we do to have that link all over, at least within the United States, if all the people that are smart and intelligent here can cover, Trump will listen to us. We have what it takes. Thank you. I think um, that was um, self-explanatory. Uh, if we all do what we can individually, and as a group of people, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to move mountains. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Next yes, question. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not repeat ourselves. Make this question and answer, please. And make sure you say it in a lingua franca English. We have our brothers from other tribes who do not understand IGPO. One name, you are an English. It's an English. Thank you very much, Mr. Tom Rayer, my colleague in microphone. Uh, my name is Namdi Kano Ndewosa. They're wonderful, all the things that you do. Uh, I, my name is Cash Izimako. I'm from Amibo, and Amibo, Igbo land, and therefore Biafra. And I'm going to make my question very simple and short because I'm a short person. <laughs> I wanted to thank you so much for the attention that you brought, even though he was the Fulani Hirschman and the Nigerian Zoo brought the attention to National High School Laba. I'm a product of National High School Laba and it keeps me awake every night. But for us to do things in so many different ways to achieve our glory, we have to diversify our attention. So my question is, I know you're a forward-thinking man, and you've been thinking so forwardly for so many years for us, and I thank you. What can we do, and how do we go about achieving a political landslide in Alibo, in fielding, fielding people who support and move forward the agenda of IPOB. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you very much, my brother, for that. It's a very honest question. I think he deserves a straightforward, short and honest answer. Are we going to participate in elections no, no. where there is no summer? No. Huh? No. There is no summer. No. But they have card reader reporting to a summer. I don't know what's followed the summer. Gorilla, gorilla. Maybe it's a, it's a cockroach. Are you advancing IPOB to participate in zoo politics? No! It's a waste of time. Thank you. <laughs> professor, tell us why a professor. Question is question. Answer is answer. God bless you. God bless you, number eight. I had the privilege to see you last night. So you got a lot of my questions. I really want to say one thing. I'm the vice chairman of the Congress. He very much shocked. Uh, when the Congress, you want to like the other about to join them? When I was growing up before the Civil War, the evil man never turned the other cheek. You guys are turning all your cheeks left and right. Action speaks louder than voice. Please, one simple advice. Do not look like a man who saw somebody coming to cut off his leg and he keeps saying, well, I will do something if I do for my neck. That is what you guys are trying to do. One of Congress is having convention here, August 29th, 31. We will have a serious meeting to get all of you involved so that we can join Nam the Khan. Next. 
hope to know how the voice start because whatever money lives here, they were hard for them to even answer the phones. So when people go to Israel in the churches, they have somebody dedicated to start collecting tickets in the middle and they start collecting payments. So if you are going to be there, please start putting your names down. The reason I said this, I really don't even want to be in the video without the same. When I saw the pictures of what happened in Omar, we had a wedding downtown. Yes. I am an inner circle of a lot of people that knows Omar, including some Kenyans in the world. That spawned a lot of my projects in Nigeria because of the value they gave. And I already spoke and demanded that killing this innocent youth is really not freedom. It's not one man deal. These are the children who have voted all the people and you have killed them for no reason. Anyway, that got me into a lot of hot work that I really don't care. What I mean is how do we start making impact to achieving this dream? Thank you. I don't talk about what happened in my house very much. Do you know why I don't talk about it very much? Because the anger is what fuels me from within. And that is why I will never rest until Nigeria collapses completely. I expect each and every person here to become somebody in IPOB. All of you here can be coordinators in IPOB. Don't you know that? Just go back to your ordinary your street. You can mobilize people around your street. If your phones are not coming, go and bring Jamaicans. Go and bring your, your Latin American friends. Do you know those that fought for Nelson Mandela? They were not South Africans. Everybody fought for them. Go and make people to fight for you. The zoo. The zoo has a very formidable PR firm working for them. And listen to this, please. You are fighting the zoo. Britain is fighting you. Shell is against you. Elf is against you. Halliburton is against you. Ajib is against you. Jesus Berger is against you. Now, do you understand the, the mess we're in? So it requires a movement as robust and solid as IPOB to confront them. Or else, any other group you form can never ever make a dent on these people. Yes, yes, yes that is true. Right. You can't. IPOB was chosen for this mission. Some may not like it, but it's the truth. You cannot do it. We've been around for only how many years? Six years? And, and I spent, can we say, I spent almost three of that in detention and in communication. So in actual fact, we've been going for about three years. And look at where we are. Without your help. Without your help. Then imagine what we can do with your help. I have said it before, forget about the title Supreme Leader, his high name. IPOD belongs.
belongs to you. It's your own. I can't drive you away from my POD. Oh, my problem is Rosh. I'm going to do Zoom. Okay. If I wanted to be, uh, what do they call it? Elite. Elite. I would have accepted what the zoo gave to me. By now, I will be living in, um, is it Martha's Vineyard? Just to tell you that I know we had a big short sleeve in this country. I could have been there with my helicopter and private jet. And my very beautiful wife, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All of you here, don't be afraid. Biafra is yours. The only reason why the Fulanese came to my house to kill me and killed us in the process. Was because in the young world, the devil, my Ethiopia, no, Ibazu, Okorocha, asked them to come and kill me. That is the same that we come from. Oh, what can I know? No, but I can only imagine as we can get up. They were the ones that put them in. And the day they will die because they will. Yes. I tell you my own Roha, I tell you what is going to happen for you. They will die. Everybody that cries for them will die with them. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have a representative from the youth wing of IPOP. A little girl. Please. We have to listen to this little lady. <coughs> Bible describes them as those who neither saw nor read. Yet. Okay, I won't get him. Please give a big round of applause to Medimba of Allah. That is how it works in the USA. Yes, correct. Right. 
if some of you can emulate what our parents have just done, maybe by next year we will have two million instead of one million people. <laughs> Our distinguished leader, ladies and gentlemen, please. This sheet of paper is going round for the dissuasions. This is going round. Make sure you have your name, your address, your email address, your telephone number. If you have not gotten it, please. Get in touch with one of the coordinators. When you finish completing this, make sure it comes back to the Secretary General. This man is supposed to have handled the microphone, but I decided to bring forth our youth. At this point, when you have one name, one of the guru, Allah. Mr. Allah, Imo, Boko and Imo. One of the brothers, his brothers was among those. In the busy kind of when he was governor, by the governor of Imo State. He did wonderfully well as governor of Lagos State and Imo. But his brother came at you, destroyed Imo. His brother. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank you for your service and the risk you've taken on behalf of all the evils, not necessarily the people of God you have. And uh, for you to come down here to talk to us, I do really appreciate the whole thing. You may have addressed my question when I was on the line and when I was sitting. Um, the key thing that I want to mention, I ask you, or to listen carefully, is this. I've spoken to a lot of people about the Afro and all what have you. Which are all part of it. And people tell me we already have Biafra. And then the comment they make is since they had after the military rule, we have the so called democracy. Imo state is being ruled by the evils. Enugu by the evils. They have the governor, they have the house of rep, they have all what have you, including rivers and all those. The houses are not the ones ruling the evil. The, the eastern part of the country. Now, these guys have what they call their paganism or whatever you name it. I'm good, I'm from other states. We are artists of color rule for eight years. Nothing was done in other states. He handed over governorship to TRG. He ruled for eight years, nothing happened in either state. Now, from what I understood, TRG is now a senator the president. Theology is a partner representing, and the audience is something doing it. And also, Theology's son is now a House of Rep speaker. The question now is do we have any plan that is measurable and going after them to recover the stolen wealth? And also, what is the plan we have for the House Man? Thank you very much. I feel you. I didn't understand what I was saying. Um, but I, I believe I picked up a few things. And allow me to repeat. They may look evil to you, or the Afran. They may dress like evil people do. They may even drink by wine, as we do. But they are full on his slaves. Full on his decides who goes into power. Somebody said he came out to go destroy the Imo state. He came out to go, his name during the war was Omasanga. He led the full on him against. His own people. The mother is from Katsino. 
Don't you know that? He is cousin to the dead body. So you don't know the mother is from Casina. You don't know that? Oh, my son, these are the people you call your leaders. You are the architect of your own problem. Ibo leader, man. Ibo leader. He led army into his own land. Anywhere else in the world, he will be even a liar. Only in our place. As long as they have money from Abuja or from Lagos, I now will hear look on one man, which is not very good. Because we respect money so much. But at least you have been able to prove something. The fact that IPOB is in 88 countries around the world, supported by ordinary Biafrans, goes to show that the number of good people amongst us outweigh those who are bad amongst us. And we must prevail. Are we okay? Thank you. Nothing wrong here. The boy man man and the other one did be a brahman who just now was a human being. No. This is my question directly. I am your Oh, sorry. Let's speak in English. Sorry. We want to get Biafra. That's why I'm here today. I've looked forward for this day. Have you looked into, I'm addressing this to our leader, since so many satellite states around, around uh, the major or core Igbo land, some of, them are, some of them are dragging their feet, can we not use the five core Igbo states and achieve this? Because I know they will come. And because I know, before somebody can cross Ibo land to go to other states surrounding it, he must have to get visas and pass. I know they will come. Some people will not come at the beginning when the struggle is on, but they will join you. Let's look and let's think about how to use what we have right now, achieve what we can get. These guys, these other states, will surely join us. Please look at that possibility, because us trying to get these people, these people who we are here to, Biafran territories, might delay things. Thank you. But they are already part of us. They are already part of us. It's the same thing now if you come to Igbo land. Do you expect me and to support Biafra? It's like that everywhere. These are slaves to the north that you're referring to. Ordinary people in Biafra land are in IPOP. Yes, yes. Didn't you see what happened during the 30th of May sit at home? Yes. Everywhere complied. Yes. Didn't you see it? Oh, yeah. We are telling you that our people are in a, in um, Ikotebene prison. Akwaibo indigents in prison yes. because of IPOB, because of Biafra. And you're asking me to come bring them. They have come. And some of them are in prison. Because of Biafra. They did this nonsense to us years ago. They give some Efulefu's money to dominate column pages of European newspapers. To give the impression that they are speaking for us. It was IPOB that destroyed that. Isn't it? Yes. And you love me. We expect our people in Aguaybom to do the same, those who prosper to do the same. The same way we have rejected the Hanes and the and the Ushi. As we have rejected the governors, so shall they one day rise up to reject from death and what they represent. As an Aguayetra, we will talk but I'm very confident that I will wake up and very soon. Thank you. Next. Uh, 
Uh, thank you very much for being here. I'm excited to see you. I have a question. And I think we can, they say we can chew gum and do something at the same time. So what I want to ask you is this. Maybe you have a reason for saying that there should not be census in Labor Day. And my thinking is that even if the Nigerians or Fulanese come and kill all the Igbos or, or occupy our land, at least there should be a number of people they kill or the number of people in Igbo land. So please, can you tell me your rationale for saying there should not be sanctions in Igbo land? I'm a Biafran. I thought I was, I was a Biafran soldier. My number is BA421865. Thank you. I be a B. Um, our veteran should know that this is IPOB family meeting and not any other. We never ask for no census to be carried out. Is um, the others, not us. It's not us, not me. I never ask for census not to be conducted, not me. Not me. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please let there be peace. We are all adults. Thank you, Dan Brian. IPOB. IPOB. IPOB, one family, my leader, Hamadike, you don't know how grateful I am. I'm one of the veterans you honor today. I shake your hand. I'm grateful shaking your hand. Um, you alluded, my question, my question is this, you alluded some time ago that if we can get Israel and the United States, our job may have been half solved. My question is this, Igbo Adage says that Anishina Ngete Agana Benku, another one says that Onyem Merogo, Ngankita, Nkita, Ana Hejaka, You understand those? So, my question then is this the leader of Israel and the leader of the US, Boakinopa, they're so friendly. Is there any attempt whatsoever, any arrangement whatsoever? for this guy making arrangements to at least introduce you to um, the president of this country. Omunda in the number says, if I could, if I could obey. If we know that we have somebody behind us, it will give us strength, courage, to go another one mile. So my question is, is there any arrangement between these two people to at least present you to Trump? That's my number one question. Number two question is this, please, I'm pleading with you. It's a request. Our brothers in the River Rhine area, like the Ejors, they've been accusing us that we've not made a special approach to them. I was watching the YouTube one time and somebody was saying that when you, you are visiting the United States, but that when you come, it's just the Igbos alone gathering to welcome you. You understand what that means? 
So my play is this, if you wouldn't mind. If you can temper justice with mercy, can you set a special committee of a couple of people to once again go to this our brothers, approach them in a special way. Then all time again, Lao Tishi. It's my plea. Temper justice with mercy and see what can be done so that we get this our brothers together. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is something we seem to be forgetting. People, somebody asked earlier, how far have we gone with the UN and United States and Israel? Let me make this very clear to all of you here gathered. Israel, US, UN, EU, even Britain. Listen carefully, please. IPLB. They have all sent emissaries to Biafra land. All of them. To find out if these disturbances that get from IPOB in Europe, in America, everywhere, if the people are with us or not. And when they got to Enugu, who do you think they saw at Enugu? Huh? And um, what do you think the outcome of the conversation will be from the government to them? So they find it very difficult to understand. You are telling us one thing in Israel, across Europe, here in America. We have sent an envoy from the State Department. But your traditional rulers and your uh, elite, and we are not elite, intelligentsia. Intelligentsia, no, we are not a corner. Intelligentsia. They said the people are not with you. Why do you think I want you to march in Washington? Yes. So that the world will know that we want to be Africa. I asked them to look at our city and come record. They said that is not enough. Because they are waiting for all of you in America, sadly. It's Expo. I don't want to tell you. Because some will feel very important now. I'm going to start forming a new association somewhere. They are waiting for you to tell the world that you. No, not that you exist. That you want to be African. Get me one million men in Washington on the third of July, 2020. And when Trump calls me, I will show you my phone that is Trump calling me. Very simple. As he just said this. That's how it is. Regarding our people. In the riverine areas, my aunt was married to you, to somebody, to the husband, she's now late, in uh, Elema. I used to go there on holidays as a child. I, do, I don't buy the dichotomy of them and us. Everybody you see answering a job, they see that from Arachibu. Or from Umwe. And Umwe, as a matter of fact. That's Umwe. That's where they come from. Uh, they had a program called um, Ga Nembe a few days ago. Ga, which is Go, isn't it? And you say you're not Hebrew. Uh, and I can't understand this one. Everybody in Bonny, B O N N Y, speaks Igbo. That's the number one language in Bonny. It was Britain that crafted this division.
commission, not the Nuflan, the Willings Commission. When Britain was leaving, for me to have access to this water, I must break it open. Something must break for me to get access to this water. Do you agree? Yes. yes. There is oil in our land. For Britain to get to it, they must divide the Hebrews, the Libyans, everybody must be on their own and have access to the oil. They went to them and said, the Hebrew man is dominating. They will take over your oil resources. Those of you from Warren, the Hebrew man will take everything. And I asked them a simple question. Before the white man came, did you see the man in your village? Yeah, sir. Huh? Yeah, the people that actually did the conquest, which is full and they conquered that was outside of them to conquer even the river. They are the ones telling we peace loving people that we are domineering. No. No. Have we forced anybody to speak Ibo language before? People don't know why I renewed my affinity with Israel and I do it in the open. Because we are one people. How do I know? They never forced anybody to speak Hebrew. They never forced anybody to accept Shuku Kekabiyama. You discover God on your own and you come to the temple to pray to God. Nobody preaches to you. The same thing with us. We never forced anybody to speak our language. Is in the holy book and the Bible. God said, if you conquer a particular place and it not give to you, you can do whatever you like, but you must go back. Yoruba that conquered people. Fulani conquered that was I was a conquered for them. You look at us, very those are the same dominary. And you know what? You know, envy is a bad thing. If some of you here can be envious because somebody calls me supreme leader, talk less of somebody living 120 miles away from you. What do you expect when they lie to them? The same thing that some people fed you rubbish about me, about IPU. That was how they fed a job rubbish about Igbo. Fed nonsense to DP. Fed nonsense to Anna. Fed rubbish to Effie. Some of you here entertain phone calls about gossip. No one can see. Same gossip from morning to night. The person that you want me to go and see, have they come to see me? Have they come to see me? And I said, no. That is what gossip does. All Nigeria used to destroy us is simple gossip. As it is also. To repair that damage is what we are still fighting till this very day. But we shall overcome. A big round of applause, please. Before the next question, this is from the office of IPOB Secretary. If you want to be in constant touch of IOB, IPOB, please take this number, test IPOB 97000. Zero 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 IPOB. Whatever information you want, you will get the response. IPOB nine seven Okroko Okroko Okroko. Not 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 zero zero zero. We just want everybody to like go on your text now. And text, use the number 97000 and text IPUB. Please.
That's, it's that simple. You, you're dialing like you're dialing a phone number, 97000, 97000, and then you text IPUB. We'll get your information that way too. Thank you. Ne next question. Question. IPOB. IPOB. We are unstoppable. We are fearless. And um, I'm from Nigeria. And I came here. I'm from Ndobi. I'm a serious sister of Agun Nobi. I've, I just I want to say it from Node. And that is Ide Miligogo Biafra land. And nobody invited me here because I'm always following the Biafra news on social media. And I saw this and I have to call somebody to pick me, brought me here. And when I came here, I put on live video. I don't know how many people that are putting on live video, not just video, a lot of Biafrans in all over the world are watching. Before my phone went off, I was crying. Some people from Scandinavia are watching, from China are here. But the problem, when I came here, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm a visitor, but I want to uh, express myself. Uh, this is a great history. If you are coming to America, you never come history, never start. And the, this is a land of, as uh, my daughter spoke, he said the uh, American Biafra. As far as I'm concerned, he is American Biafra land. And um, if you like, you believe it. Because but the one saddened my heart is when I came here, I, don't think, I didn't see the population I expected. And uh, Biafras, we are, domi we are dominating. If you go to Scandinavia, China, we are dominated most of white dead. That are speaking about my friend. But not wasting your time, I will ask you a question and also suggest something. On two, 2013, I was in Sweden with Agun Lobi and I was working on the street, just sleeping. Then, every night, my brother will say, Biafra, they will be, they will be on live video. I will sit down with him. I say, what is every time Biafra? Anywhere he went to, he will come back to listen to live video. And I'll be hearing your voice. That time he doesn't show his face. He will be hammered in 2013. He will be talking on radio, and people from all over will be calling, and he will be responding. And that time, as as well as uh, 2013, and that is when I begin to follow Biafra of 18. Then something happened that day on while I was still there. I was walking on the street. A Swedish. A Swedish man stopped me, you know, as a pretty lady to toast me, say, hello, where are you from? No, 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 just listen. Where are you from? I said, from Nigeria. I said, Nigeria. I said, from Nigeria. Yes. He said, Nigeria. Where from Nigeria? I said, from. And I said, no, 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 no. Don't say you're Nigeria. You're a Biafra. I was, I was shocked. I was shocked. I assumed that my video is alive. My brother will bear me witness. I could know. I ran my, I said, if was, the man stood and told me that, please help, I, can, I cannot go to Nigeria, I can come to Biafra, yeah. you know. So, but my question and what I want Omadike to do here is that, please, sir, he still, I think they need transmission. He still, as far as I'm concerned, he still, California or Los Angeles, they are the biggest and more their friends are here. We need to hammer them, our governments, our president from here, talking to them because I know that, I know that Canadians and China, they were hammering from all their stations, from China hammering. Even when they, they, even they want all the governors that any state that uh, this cattle will enter, they will bombard, they will blast their houses. And do you know why uh, Biafra land is free, that you can even travel and go and sleep? Is because those their friends in other countries have sent signal to them, warn them, and they secretly go and wrote. I'm a journalist by profession. They secretly go and wrote to Guari say, please, we will not take this cattle bearing in our land. Yes. So, but what um, my question and also 
is it not possible for you before you leave here to build up this transmission here where you can be following them sometimes you talk and a lot of questions i think that transmission brought a lot, a lot of uh, many of us together and that is why anywhere you go in other states you see crowd you see white be proud to feel uh, Biafra flying. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know that a lot can be accomplished here in Houston. Only if we share our old behavior of I must be the leader I must form my own group. I must have my own clique. If we jettison all of that, we will accomplish a lot. We will, I assure you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to entertain only one more question. All right. I stand to be corrected. Next. Come on. Second one, which I'm sure, where's this room? There are some of them are doing already. We managed to go to the um, office of, um, of a governor in this country because he donates to his campaign. That's how it's done. I would suggest that we form political parts, but I think it's too early for that for now. Let's keep growing and then see where we can what we can do with that later. But if you don't get involved in your local politics, then nothing is going to happen. We must do something, starting with Washington next year, 3rd of July. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a sister who came from all the way from South Sahara, in Akwaibom State of IPOB Nation. 
She's here to make a special presentation. She is here to make a special presentation. Please join us to welcome to the microphone Lady Christy again. Can we give her a pair of applause, please? She's here. IPOP One Family IPOP One Family Irene Moare Iba Rufa Moare I greet all of you this evening. I'm here as an Akwaibom woman to present this to our leader. This was put together by us in uh, Dallas. We went to Akwaibom meeting and the Akwaibo might say they want to do something to show that they are with our own people. We have all the people in our Akwaibo state, people that you can talk to and be, to show, and be in the government of Biafra. So I want to present this to our leader today with all due respect. Please take your seats. Please go back to your seats. The noise is coming back. The noise is too much. And I make a lot of number. I am glad you are here. One day, Jayantara Please take your seats. Let's conclude these questions and answers, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please, can we take our seats? We have four more questions. Two from over here and two from here. Yes. Bro, come forward, please. Now, come forward. Yeah, I uh, I had a question. Um, yeah, you, you just mentioned that we have about uh, that uh, IPOB is, is located in almost 88 countries of the world, and in these 88 countries of the world, we have children that are being born in these countries. And my question is, if we get Biafra today, what's going to be the fate of those children? 
will they have the chance to, you know, file for uh, the president of Biafra, or will they have the chance to uh, run for an office, you know, uh, without nobody questioning their citizenship, like we all know about Obama and uh, Atiba who are being born in uh, Cameroon. So, you know, what are we going to do to make sure that um, that they have the same right as someone who's been born in Biafra? Yeah, that, that, that's my question. In Biafra land, everybody will be equal before the law. It doesn't matter where you're born, once either of your parents is a Biafran by birth, then automatically your children are Biafrans. And they will be entitled to contest for the highest office in the land. We need people, your children going back to Biafra. We need everybody. And they are entitled to all that Biafra has to offer. Thank you very much. Please, my dearest brother, come forward and take the microphone and let people hear your voice. Thank you very much, my big brother from another mother. The senior man, as long as the microphone is concerned, the supreme commander, the supreme leader, Maze Namde Kano. Kano. In Abia State, we say Imebalaho. You have done great. My name is Eze Anyaw, and my participant name is Johnny Jones. When you hear me answering JJMC here in Houston, that is the meaning of that JJMC. We are talking about spreading this gospel. I came to the United States of America in the year 2014. When I came in here, I discovered that we have five television stations here in America and only one is owned by an Igbo man, precisely from Ngobala in Igbo State. They adopted me for the fact that back in Nigeria, I was presenting the popular Igbo program in IBC called Igrigendo. Listen, we are talking about how do we spread the gospel. If you can, I have one question, only one question to ask, but before then, if you turn channel 15.7, this is my director over here. He is American born, David Brigham. That is the man. You know, we are covering this. The advert, I am the one that uh, read your advert before this occasion. What I'm saying is this. When you want to do anything about this Biafra, I, I read Igbo news every Wednesday, every Sunday. Anybody that tunes channel 15.7 will see that this man that is standing here is trying to protect. Because two things, if you want to identify a person, either the accent or the mood of dressing. Now my question, please. There has been a threat from Asare Tokobo. Ojuku, when he was begging King Saruwa and Isaac Adakaburu, 
They fail to listen and understand until they die shameful death. Now, please, my question is this. How is your relationship? Or how are you going about all this death threat from Asare Dokobon? I know the date to kill Nan de Kalo. I know where I will get him. That is my question. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. And as you know, my dear brother, as it is customary with me, I don't discuss individuals. I prefer to deal with their masters from the north. I deal with Fulani, Mieti Yala, and the foolishness of Ohanese and Ohanese. You pointed out two people that died shamefully. If they cannot learn from the experience of Adakaboro and Kensa River, then they will never learn. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another lady. Ne, please come forward. from flying his man is getting out of hand. Before Biafra will come, somebody has to be alive. I'm asking you as our leader, God has brought you, brought you out, just like Moses. I'm sorry for, my name is Joy Oko. I'm from Ida town of Imo State, Aaron Dizo. My median name is where I'm um, on the air. I answer Cindy Thomas, you may be hearing about Cindy Thomas. So what I'm asking you please, is there any plan on ground to protect our mothers, daddies, kids back home in Ibo land? Because Fulani hate men, they're all over villages. I went in November to bury my mother that died here with getting back home to bed. I spent three months. To be honest with you, what we are talking here, we're just joking. We need to do something fast before these people finish us. So what are we going to do? How are we going to donate to bring something down to get these people out? People not help their age. And I don't believe all this we talk and when we leave, people will just laugh at me. What are we doing now to save our life, save our people back home? Not only now they can. Coming to America does not mean that you cannot save your people home. Thank you very much. I think your question is in order. It depends on what you are prepared to do. Uno mana abona kana achi kana tan. Amen. I'm not asking you as I asked of you in 2015 to give me guns and to give me bullets. But I want you as learned, reasonable people. The Fulanis have come with armaments, with weapons to kill us. And we are ready and prepared to meet them. We have been meeting them before now. What do you think we need to drag them away from our land? And then give it to us. That's our aspect. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Special announcement 
from the Secretary General IPOB. Secretary Sir. IPOB. IPOB. One family. Um, I'm not gonna waste the time, okay? Get out your Android or iPhone or anything you use. Go to App Store or go to PlayStation. We have to download Simple Radio. On that rate, you're gonna see Radio Biafra. Our Madike has given us a platform to reach out to the world. So if you want to listen to what's happening in Biafra land, you don't get it in channels. You don't get it in CNN or MSNBC. You get it on Radio Biafra. If you need some help, we're gonna come around and help you download simple radio. And under it, you're gonna see Radio Biafra. That's where you're gonna get authentic news of anything happening in Biafra land. Okay, to make it abundantly clear, is Radio Biafra London, not Radio Biafra International, no. Radio Biafra London. So if you need some help, raise up your hand, I'm gonna come and help you out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, sir. Yes, sir, be here. Please, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special presentation from one of our youths, a Biafran youth, Greta Timoro, the young shark, grow. Now, let's hear your name and your family name. Is that here? I'm the I am the Jew Lawson, an Indigenous of Calabari Kingdom, the Gama Province, Biafra Land. I am going to say some things some people may not like, but before I say that, I have a confidential consignment to deliver to the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra. Imagine I'm the camera. One and other, our father. You say that you will destroy Nigeria if an independent Biafra does not emerge. Today, I believe now is the time to back wars with action. Now is the time to back wars with action. I have devised three revolutionary military procedures on how to destroy Nigeria in a way that, in a way that, in a way that there will be no casualty and no death on the Biafra side and Nigeria will be destroyed completely. This is the first this is the first procedure. Operation Python Squeeze. The second procedure. Use the microphone. Operation No Air. This is the third and last procedure. Operation Hurricane Gonzalo. To the leadership of the children's people of Biafra. I expect that the leadership of IPOB will implement these military procedures. I will be very, very willing to join you in implementing them. Thank you. My name is Richard Lawson. I want to connect, I want to collect an impression that a job people do not support Biafra, a job people are fully support Biafra. We have IPOB in every part of the job and in Okoko, in Yenegua, in Otakos, in, in everywhere. Thank you very much. IPOB! I don't know if anybody will again come up to ask me what we are doing to unite everybody. I think they are united already. When I say IPOB is everywhere in Biafra land, we are everywhere in Biafra land. There is no need for unity because we are already united. I don't want to talk about people working for full and mean. You will have them once in a while. When they run out of money, they look for something to say about IPUB. But I can assure you, my fellow Biafran, that we will implement all the things that you have put down there. 
and in the end, the Zoom form. Thank you, our Supreme Leader. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can be standing and be listening without making noise, that's your choice. The last but not the least, the last from this end, the last figure from this end. Thank you very much, Honorable MC. My brother, Mama, um, it's a great honor to see you in person and to shake your hand as one of the veterans. And I was one of those that rejoiced greatly when we heard that they were not successful in their uh, assassination attempt on you when you spoke from Israel I said thank God I have a lot to say some people have covered some of them but I have one question from history we know this struggle for survival we were not the first to start it. If we can learn from others' examples and not repeat the same mistake. In the last attempt for this, achieve this goal, we failed because mostly due to our internal enemies. Despite the overwhelming power we were fighting, we almost succeeded, if not for the saboteurs as we knew them then popularly. Uh, the Irish Republican Army, when they were fighting Britain, they had their political leadership and party and representatives. They also had another arm which the political leadership doesn't necessarily accept that they have a connection with them just for political expediency. My question when them work, maybe all part of the strategic thoughts and planning, how we can do what we need to do to make sure, you've already enumerated some of them, including our so-called governors. To take those, care of those internal enemies. To me, they are worse than snake and they are worse than our external enemies. Um, Before I end, whatever happens, I've been there before, and I'm here now, we'll continue to the end. I hope we succeed, but if I'm not there at the end, I hope you will be there to set our road right. Ahamuomazi. Okechuku ndodem agocha. How many more you do? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Major Agocha. You want your home? Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me answer this question, uh, Mr. MC. Um, sorry about that. We in IPOB we consider every variable before we do anything. We thought about participating in zoo politics. 
in adopting the IRA Sinn Féin approach in Northern Ireland. But the problem is that electioneering and politicking in the zoo is not normal. It's not right. They have been doing all they can to try to ridicule and demystify IPOB. Any attempt at frontal engagement in zoo politics will result in disaster. They will simply write the result in Abuja and announce it. And that's it. And there is nothing you and I can do about it. You have seen how useless the PVC is, isn't it? That's right. And um, we are hoping and praying that before we are called upon again in the zoo, if at all we are still alive by then, considering what the Fulanese are doing, if we are called upon again to vote in the zoo, I seriously pray that Biafra will come before them. Yes. 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 Can we give a bit of applause, please? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only occasion that has taken place in this city, the fourth largest city in the whole of the United States, the capital of Biafra in the whole of Northern Hemisphere. Whatever you cannot find in Houston, you cannot get it at the Jebunle or Aria Aria. My brother, you want to be the last speaker? Yes. I have been asked to shut it down. But because I can see your attire, because I can see your also, not a shady, please, my coordinator, can you permit him? Thank you, Anamadike. I'm very privileged to be with you today. I've been loving for this for a long time. That's why I brought all the way from Dallas to make sure I'm here. I'm going to join one more. I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to use the other one.